Yo, what is up guys? Shinobi Eevee here back again on another video for you guys. And today, ladies and gentlemen, as you guys can see, they finally have released the full banner for the Lost Agent Summons Shades of the Bond. And we're just going to be going over the banner, you know, trying to see what we got going on here. This is my first time seeing it, so I don't know what's going on here. But hopefully, the banner units are good for anybody who does want to decide to summon on this banner. Me personally, it's a skip because once again, I'm saving orbs. But for those of you guys who do want to summon on this banner, this video is for you guys and me just giving my thoughts and opinions on if you do summon on this banner, who you guys could possibly get that is good outside the main characters on the banner. So if you guys do enjoy the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel. You already know the drill, you know. And I'm going to start doing these, but like, I'm going to be like leaving these questions in these videos for you guys to answer as far as thousand year blow war. Because we have, of course, got 23 days left until it returns in july so for this one since we got lost agent who is your favorite full bringer and why so without further ado let's go ahead and get straight into this so as you can see starts on the 16th ends on the 26th so by tomorrow we should be getting this but it also looks like we got ourselves some stuff that was going on here so it looks like they were correcting some things here it looks like Heart strong character damage attributes and all that so it looks like there was some errors that they did fix so good on that so character details for Tsukushima so he's definitely a melee normal attack unit which I'm glad they updated this it looks like they've updated the thing to tell which unit it would be because normally they didn't show this where it's like oh either they're a strong attack unit or a normal attack unit in this case normal attack unit like we all expected all attacks except for strong attack do drain and then on top of that strong attack do does a debuff and then new skill Team and party get power attribute, normal attack damage, you know, boost for 20%. So that's not too bad. He has a squad killer, you know, squad zero killer, which is, of course, for, you know, Gale Quest. And once it, this character is mostly going to be used in Gale Quest, and I said it before, but this character is mostly going to be really good with Ishin, I would think. I want to see somebody try and test this out with Ishin because he does boost normal attack damage, so that could be pretty good. But other than that, he does have Sprinter plus one poise, poison duration minus 100, Bruiser, debilitator for two seconds, Diminisher, which is a pretty, I haven't seen that in a while, Killer Effect plus 30, and then plus 50 in Guild Quest, which is not bad, Guard Break, Flurry plus one, and then of course the melee damage plus 10, and then the normal attack damage plus 20. Not bad at all, but he's definitely going to be only used for Guild Quest, so if you don't have anything for Guild Quest, this would be definitely a unit that you'd want to use. Not to mention he's a human, so not a lot of killers are going to be going against him anyway, so he's not going to be taking too much damage. Now, moving on down to, of course, Kugo. He's an attack type, you know, for strong attacks. He's got weaken, you know, damage to weaken enemies plus 35, and then team plus party equals heart attribute damage, status element to 40%. And then, of course, we got the team and party attribute character strong attack damage plus 20 for his skills. So, not bad there. He has a Quincy killer, which is all right. It'd be better if he had a Soul Reaper killer or even a Quincy and Soul Reaper killer would be nice. But he only got one, so it's all right. You know, it is what it is. But moving on down here, Soul Retreat will be doing damage to weaken enemies plus 35, which isn't bad. That's actually pretty good, especially since there's a lot of characters in this game that do have the ability to put weaken on enemies. So, this is good as a Soul Trait. Sprint to plus one, Endeavor every five seconds. Read all affiliation dodges, which is nice. Havoc plus 20, Frenzy plus 1, Debility for 5 seconds, Guard Break, Heart Attribute Character, Strong Attack Damage plus 20, Berserker, Devastation, and then on top of that, he also gives Heart Attribute Human Damage to status element affected enemies, and Strong Attack damage. Recharge Time, minus 12, which is not half bad. Not half bad if I do say so myself. In fact, me personally, out of all of these, if I was to summon on this banner, he would be the one I want to get. But moving on down to the next one. We got Yukio, who is going to be a ranged normal attack unit, strong attack 2, which is going to give a boost. So he's basically going to be a buffer for you guys, technique unit, which isn't half bad. A spotted killer, which is good for, you know, guild quest or even just normal content in general, but he's going to be mostly boosting anyways. But anyway, he also has Sprinter, weaken duration minus 100, guard break, which is nice. He also has a Bruiser plus 40, Flurry plus 1, Berserker plus 60, Enhancer, Poise, Booster, and on top of that is the killer for guild quest which is where he's mostly going to be used at. Strong attack recharge time and range damage plus 10 and plus 30 in guild. So once again, it looks like for this banner specifically, this is mostly helping out people for, you know, who don't have a lot of guild quest units. So this is really good for that. So honestly, you could probably use all three of these characters in guild quest and do pretty well, but you probably want to mix it up. But all three of these characters would be really good in guild quest with all their different killers. But moving on down here, it looks like we got Tsukushima, Kugo, you know, Yukio, then we got the old Kisuke, old Soifan. This Kagurosa is pretty decent. 
Same with this uh, Ruriko is pretty decent. But other than that, you probably want to only see these three. And then maybe a Kagurosa and a Ruriko. Because for the most part, everything else in this banner is pretty bad. But if you're new, I would say someone on this. If you've been playing the game for a while, I would say, in my opinion, save your orbs. Unless you really, really need Guild Quest characters and you think you're lucky. But other than that, it looks like we got ourselves a 26-step banner, which isn't half bad for this. So the banner is pretty decent for this one. And you do get a 5-star guaranteed character as usual. And then for single summons, you know, you got the usual down here. But other than that, we also got some new event stuff. So new character receives bonuses, fish bone, D, you know, epic raid, and then the patch up event as well. So not bad. So in ranking, as far as what I think... So, my favorite, at least for, like, in the case of this, for Guild Quest, would be, it'd be Tsukushima, then it would be Yukio, or, and then Kugo. That would be for Guild Quest. Like, if I'm really focused on Guild Quest, that would be what I'm focused on. But in my case, I already have some Guild Quest characters that I can use, so Kugo would be one that I really want, and probably Tsukushima, because I want to test him out with, of course, Ishin. But in my case, I'm not going to be summoning, so, hey. Unless I make another account and just say, screw it. I mean, I probably would, honestly, to make it interesting. I probably would think about... I'm thinking about making a second account just to see what I get off of it. So, who knows? But, that's pretty much going to be it. Let me know what you guys think about the banner. Me, personally, decent characters. Not really bad. In fact, these are really good Guild Quest characters to get, in my opinion. But, other than that, I'd say it's a skip. But, hey, that's all up to you guys. But without further ado, this is Shinobi EB signing off. I'll see you guys in the next one. And thank you all for watching. Peace out.